Kind of attention. I mean, pay attention. In the absence of the mayor, I welcome you all to our yearly ski race. The winner will represent our village in the national championships. You should enter, Pippi. You'd win easy. Yes, I probably would. And then you could go to the national championships. And you'd win that, too. Yes, I probably would. And if you don't enter, Bank the Bully is a cinch to win. Yes, he probably is. But I promised to teach Horse how to ski jump today, and I couldn't disappoint him. Hey, Sedegrin, you want my autograph? Did you learn how to write, Bank? Congratulations. Oh, yeah? Want to bet I win? All right, sure. Tommy, you'll lose. If I win, I mean, when I win, you wax my skis for the rest of the winter. And if you lose, you wash my socks. Ooh. Bet? Bet. <laughs> Boy, was that dumb. Attention! Racers, get ready! <coughs> I call on our highly respected Mrs. Priscillius to start the race. Quiet! Ready, set, go! Thanks going to win easy. Never mind. It's the spirit that counts. Yeah, but Bank's still going to win again. You never know. Something unexpected could always happen. He 
he's got the idea yet, but it's a matter of practice. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Nilsson? <laughs> now don't forget, legs stay in line. Now these straps will hold your legs together. I know you'll get it this time. <laughs> See, Mr. Nelson, I knew it would work. Oh my gosh, Pippi! Pippi, look! That's right. I never taught him how to stop. Well, I'm sure he'll stop somewhere. And then he'll be really glad he learned how to ski. Although, maybe I better see where he went. Yahoo! I hope Horse doesn't slide all the way to the race course. That's right, he might run over someone. Maybe he'll run over banked. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I'd say he definitely came this way. He must have wanted to see the hockey game. That way, toward the lake. Thanks. What's the score? <sighs> Excuse me. Did a horse on skis pass through here? That way. Towards the race course. Thanks. Catch anything? I am running away. Well, there's one of the racers. And there's horses' tracks. Why did they go off that way? It almost looks as if the racer's trying to get away from horse. Well, I must say, he'll never win any races by lying down and resting banked. Look! Here comes someone! It's, 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 it's a horse. A horse? <laughs> oh, no, this is too much. Our village is to be represented at the national championships by a horse? The whole country will laugh at us. But it's winning. And the rules say whoever crosses the finish line first. Then move the finish line. Where to? Anywhere that horse isn't. Right. Back the other way, quick. Oh no! Uh, reverse! <laughs> you missed it. Quickly! Here comes someone else! <laughs> that was close. You are, horse. Well, no harm done. You deserve a snack. I declare the first one across the finish line and our village's representative in the national championships to be Pippi Longstocking. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Are you sure? What happened? Pippi won. She's going to the national championships. She is? Yay! What about Banked the Bully? You haven't heard the last of this. Did you say something, Banked? I'll fix her yet. You'll see. 
Yoo-hoo, bangs. Don't forget these. <laughs> People's choice, all right. Now, let's take a look at this year's course. Oh, and it's a tough one. Plenty of jumps, plenty of hills, and it ends up with the long climb through Avalanche Valley. <laughs> Better not make any mistakes on this course. Where's Pippi? It's almost race time. Maybe she forgot. She must arrive on time. After all, she is representing the village. But where is she? Come to think of it, where are Annika and Tommy? <laughs> Hurry up, horse. We'll never get there on time. The poor thing must be worn out from all that ski jumping. What are we going to do? There's only one solution. You rest, horse. It's my turn. Attention racers, five minutes to race time. Where is she? There. Hurry, Pippi, the race starts in five minutes. You've got to get registered. I've never been registered before. Does it hurt? No, it means you have to give your name. Well, as long as I get it back after the race. Over here, you hurry. Three minutes to race time! Quick, uh, sign her up. Her? This, this raggedy ragamuffin, this scruffy little scarecrow in our national championship? I'll do no such thing, disgraceful. Our village is entitled to a representative, and she's it. Oh, Please. come on! <laughs> of course. All right, I'll register her. Oh, hey! Hey! Pippi! Name? Pippolata Delicatessa Window Shade Mackerelman Ephraim's Daughter Longstocking. What? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Now that you're registered, it is my official duty to disqualify you for not being tall enough. <gasps> All contestants must be taller than this mark. So sorry. Next. Oh. You are kidding. But you haven't measured me yet. How do you know I'm not taller? Technicalities, technicalities, all right. Stand there. Hmm? Yeah, hair counts. Yeah! Yes, 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 indeed. One minute to race time. Racers to the starting line. Hurry, Pippi! A moment. What now? Birth certificate, please. You have to be a certain age to enter. Oh, no. That's all right. I am a certain age. In fact, I never heard of anyone who wasn't. Huh? Precisely. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, but uh, I... On your marks. Get set! Come on, Pippi! Treasure play me. A moment. And off! Oh dear, I'm afraid the race has started, so you'll have to pay a late starting fee, and it's very, very expensive. <laughs> Will this be enough? Uh, um, a moment. Huh? My good man, in the absence of the mayor, I demand that Miss Longstocking, the representative of our village, be entered in the race. Immediately! And that's about enough advice from you. Ow! Let me go! That hurts! Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. 
Here you are, number 699. Come on, Pippi, there's no time to lose. Yeah, they're way ahead. They're almost out of sight. They are out of sight. She'll never catch up. She will, so go, Pippi! Hurry up! Hurry up? That reminds me. Did I ever tell you about Hurry Up Hernandez? Not now, Pippi. <laughs> That's what they used to say to hurry up. Isn't that a coincidence? Anyway. <sighs> hurry Up Hernandez was the fastest man in Mexico. Boy, was he fast. He was so fast, he could run out from under his sombrero and finish the race before it dropped. He was so fast, he could start his drink and get back before he finished it. He was so fast, he could start after the race was over and still come in first. Of course, you needed a photo finish to see him. He was so fast. Pippi? Yes? What about this race? I'm very glad you reminded me. I think I should start now. Don't you? Yes! Well then, we're all agreed. Bye! Bye. She's a long way behind. She'll never make it all up. She will too, you'll see. Wait, what's that? Get my number. <gasps> there. Thank you very much, Mrs. Priscillius. To Lou. Not a chance. I'm afraid not. You'll see. Go, Pippi! All <laughs> oh, that is except poor old number 699, whose name I am told is a uh, uh, Miss uh, Oopsie uh, Long Sticking. She must be giving the others a head start. <laughs> it's not funny, Bent. And her name's Pippi Long Stocking. <laughs> oh, hello. Excuse me. Uh, wow! What a jump! 699 has caught up with the bat, but she's still got a long way to go. This is certainly a very slow way to go. It would be much better if I made my own trail. Snow you in. I hope you'll forgive me. Goodbye. I've never heard of anything like it. Number 699 is actually gaining in the deep woods. She's catching up to the leaders. Not so funny now, is it, Bent? Bent? Now, where is he going? What a poor sport. Like you said, there's still a long way to go. They're coming into Avalanche Valley, and the leader is... Here he comes, it's... Last year's champ. <laughs> no surprise there, he's way ahead. Still a hard time catching him now. 
Fun Wong Sticking is giving it a good try. She's in second place. She's almost reached our lunch trap. And here comes Long Sticking. She's got a lot of ground to make up. Can she do it? No, well, I'm around. You mean I could cause an avalanche if I make a loud noise? Now, wouldn't that be a shame? <laughs> All right, he's through. And here comes that little brat. Too bad Horse couldn't have come along. I know he would enjoy the scenery. Not even Pippi Longstocking can ski through an avalanche. <gasps> what the? Oh no, she's almost by! She could make me one, but unfortunately I don't. I have a father, though. Do you? My father is the king of a desert island. It's not in the desert, of course, but it is an island, I think. I've never actually been there, but one day my father is going to come and get me. In the meantime, I live in Villa Villa Coola. That's the name of my house, with Mr. Nilsson and Horse, of course. Have you met them? You should come visit, and I'll introduce you. Oh, there's the finish line. It's been delightful chatting with you, but I have to go now. Good day! And a new champion is! A new champion is! for our new champion, uh, Pippi Longstocking! Oh, yeah. That's better. Hmm. Disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. Nice race, Pippi. You really deserve this. Yes, I believe I do. <laughs> In the absence of the mayor, I would like to say a few words. Our village may be small and unknown to the world, but nevertheless today, Miss Pippi Longstocking... <laughs> uh? 